me start by saying that uh, we have almost 98% of our population that have never received a letter or a postal parcel to their home. Uh, it's very ironic because 30 years ago, I had to visit a relative here in Sana, and because I lived outside for a while, I had to use a tourist guide to reach his house. <laughs> I was frustrated with that, but I disguised my frustration as questions to some uh, government ministers, and I realized that they cannot solve the problem. And I understand, really, after we did all the research, I understand why. Um, 30 years, that question was always in my mind. How can we solve this problem? Um, the address is not really about just sending a letter or a postcard. It's much magnificent than, 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 than what I would even today be able to project to you, really. I think the best person who would be able to project that is Dr. Hamid al which is, I'm very honored that he's here and he is also the godfather of all these projects. Uh, the solution actually is here, and it's not specific to Yemen, by the way, and we're not here to promote it even. We are telling people, okay, this problem we faced ourselves, and we want you to solve it, solve your own problem with it. It's already there. There is 300 volunteers around the world that are working now on it, okay, and led by... Shen Han Sheng, uh, Dr. Shen Han Sheng, and he's uh, uh, one of our team, and we are one team doing that. The solution is very simple. The solution is already have. We have the technology, and you can see it. It's right here. You can see that 10 digits. Very simple. This 10 digits actually describes everything. This is called the natural area code, NAC, NAC for short. It's everything needed to describe an address. So 10 digits, that means where you are. Every one of you right now has his own unique position stored in 10 digits. You don't need to deal with the GPS data, which is strong, length, big, unusable by human beings. This is all we need today. And we have taken the initiative. First standard organization here, which is led by Dr. Hamid, is doing much work. By the way, let me show you something. When I decided to come here, all I did is I got the location. This is actually where we are right now. And we got the location. And as you saw, all I did is enter those 10 digits, and it got me here with the map, with the description. And we will go on to, to explain it. There is one interesting thing here is that we're taking it a little bit further. Uh, the NAC International Society right now is working. We have teams all over the world. But we have decided one thing. I don't think the local person can really deal with a Latin characters, for example. The Latin actually is the base, so we have, we have to recognize that. But we took it a little bit further. We made it speak all languages. We support today 64 scripts languages. That by itself spans over 400 languages worldwide. And as you can see, we even made it a little bit more sensible. Sensible how? You know, when, when I give you this is this my address and I say, okay, I live in Sana. Please don't tell me next time if you invite me ever. Don't tell me, come <laughs> meet me that place behind that store uh, near to the mosque and go left and right. Don't do that. Just give me those sentences. I will get to you. All right? Okay. But you can see here that the description is very clear. There is AR for the region. So we are in the Arabian Peninsula. And YM, oh, it's in Yemen. You know, make it just a little bit clear. Uh, I'm not going to bore you. I'm, I'm almost done. But it's at least, you know, you understand what I'm trying to say here. So with these digits, it's a 10 digits. It's a postal code, you know, just like a zip code in, that you use somewhere else. And actually, it's meant for what? So we can actually go house to house and have that as their identification. Every house should have a little sticker or a little plate there that says, that says that we, uh, uh, that says this is the house, this is the number of the house, okay? And 
As you can see, we took it a little bit further because we have here Gaz, which is the Ethiopian, Amharic, and Tigrinya language. We've got, uh, it's also support uh, uh, Chinese, Russian, as you saw right there on the screen, okay? You know, when I decided to go to Taiz a few months ago, and I really, after three decades, 30 years I haven't been there, it was like an experience, you know? I, I, I would get lost there, okay? So what I did is very simple. And actually, we demonstrate this. You know, I just said Taz, Yemen, okay? Well, I got Taz pictures, okay? I remember that I was near the Republican Palace when I was a childhood. So I did that, and I pulled it, and that's the code to it. All right, 10 digits, okay, I got it. I can memorize it. By the way, for me, I, I, I memorize a lot of those. My friends, my family, I, I remember their codes, okay? This 10 digits enabled me to go, and you can, by the way, go online. I, 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 I really wish you, that you do that. Go online and, and try it yourself, okay? It's available, the technology is free, it's open source, and we're doing it for everybody, for nothing. <laughs> and you can see, we pulled the information. Now there is one more interesting thing, that's probably the last thing I'm gonna talk, talk about, okay? Would this really require a technology? Is it, does it have to be technology dependent? No, we thought. I, I, I wouldn't expect my mom to run to a, a, an internet terminal to find where, where her sister's home at, is. So we decided we really need to bring this technology down to earth so everybody can use it. First of all, we solved the language issue and then we went a little bit further and we said, okay, well, you know, we can make always paper maps, just like traditional ones, okay? But there is this one thing we thought people hold, you know, I don't think there is anything ever, ever, ever grew in human history as much as telecoms. Today, the cell phone, you know, I, I never imagined that my, one of my grandmothers have a cell phone today, really. I mean, it, I didn't even expect it to happen in my lifetime. So <laughs> we, thought, we thought, this is a good medium. What we did is actually we developed the system, and you can go online and try it. It's already online, and, and, okay? And it actually even tells you where you are every time you turn it on, you turn on your phone. It will tell you exactly you are in this location, and this, I, I don't have too much time to explain that. But, you know, if I give you the code here, which I tried, you know, I was, like, tracking my way when I was going down to that edge, and... In every cur you know, curve, I was like asking, hey, what, what am I? Uh, you know, I was like a kid, you know, helping, playing with, my, uh, with technology. So I asked for it in any language. It supports now all the languages. And as you can see, this is almost live demonstration. We can, you can try yourself. And you see, it pulled me out right here from my house directly to Taiz. And as you can see, uh, hey, Shar al Qasr, there it is, estimated three hours, 37 minutes. So, again, let me tell you next time, if anybody wants to invite me to their house, don't tell me where is the house because I really can't get lost. I, am, I, I grew up here, by the way, but I get lost in Sana, and please, next time, just give me the 10 digits and I'll get there. Thank you very much.